Okay, so today I'm working on an illustration with Catherine and Luther in it. And we I've done the initial color wash of yellow, sort of golden yellow, which gives the illustration a bright and happy look. And I'm going back with some different colors. Right now Martin has a blue and a yellow on his doublet, which is eventually going to be black when we get it um, scanned in in Photoshop. And we gave Catherine a blue, a light blue dress with an orange shawl, two colors which really um, complement each other here for a nice cheery scene. And once I finish all of the colors on the people, then Jenna's going to go back and do the background and the window. So Jenna's been starting out by doing the backgrounds and the furniture and the landscapes and the animals and then I'll go back after her and um, draw the people and then we'll both watercolor I'll watercolor the people, she does the backgrounds and the animals um, and then when we scan it in we do the same thing I'll do the people um, in Photoshop and she does all the rest. Well we decided that we would do the G and the L at the beginning and end with more of a storytelling perspective so that they would communicate what was happening in the story. The illustrations would be color-coded. So the tense and sad parts are they use a lot of blues and reds to communicate that. And the happy and victorious parts they used greens, browns, yellows, and maybe blues also. With the small amount of elimination that we have we decided to go with that in mind. So the first letter in the book, it starts out with a sad and negative note. So we made the illuminated letter blue, red, black, and gold. So on the last letter at the end of the book, it ends victoriously because the Reformation has spread in Europe. So what I'm working on right now is the typesetting. I have the illustrations dropped in and I put a faded out border around each one of them and the larger ones I put inside the border that we have for the background and the smaller ones I had to go in Photoshop. Actually I put them all in Photoshop onto the background and then I brought that in to InDesign and now what I'm working on is getting the text to look right. So as you probably know, um, you can have text in here and it can look really crummy. So what I'm trying to do is to make the text look real nice with the illustrations and make sense in its spacing and all that. So we have a really nice font that we went with. It's called Garamond Old Fashioned and we're going with size 14. We wanted to go with a little higher size, but it didn't. We didn't have enough room because we got too much text. So, what I'm doing here is we've got this with illuminated L, and I'm trying to make the text go with it. So it's, it kind of takes a little bit of work to figure out how it needs to flow and go around it. And you want to make sure you don't get the text too close to the illustrations and make it look crowded. And so sometimes I have to get the text right and then I have to go and I have to tweak the smaller il illustrations a little bit. I've had to do that several times. It's kind of fun doing this part of it. You get to see everything come together and um, how everything's going to look and then how the words go through the illustrations. So this is a pretty fun part of the process. Emily and I have been working together on the illustrations and she's been drawing all the people and watercoloring them and digitally painting them and I've been drawing all of the stuff in the backgrounds and everything that is the backdrop to the people and watercoloring them and digitally painting them. So we have the secret message and Here's Catherine slipping a secret letter to Leonard Cop, who later helps them escape. And we have a little owl sleeping in the tree, oblivious of what's going on below it. And we have the gatekeeper Talheim's Bullenbizer, who is a rather dull-witted dog. 
and is suspiciously sniffing at the horse, which is completely the wrong thing to be suspicious of. And the horse doesn't appreciate the interfering bullenbizer because he knows what his master is up to and is on his side.